systems. With more extreme weather occurring throughout the year, farmers are being forced to adapt to our changing climate. With temperatures rising, our growing season is undoubtedly getting longer. And as the science and technology of rotational grazing develops, many farmers are taking advantage of rotational grazing systems, making more use of our cheapest resource available, which is grazed grass. Making more use of grazed grass allows farmers to reduce costs and also reduce their environmental footprint. But our changing climate does come with some significant challenges. Extreme rainfall events throughout the year can lead to flooding and waterlogged soils. These are at high risk of compaction and poaching during the grazing season. Flexibility in grazing systems is key. Rotating stock and adapting plans is the key to success. Spring calving dairy herds are particularly reliant on grazed grass. On these systems, when things get tough, often in the shoulders of the year, changes need to be made. On-off grazing systems and standoff pads are important tools to make use of grazed grass when times get tough. Mild conditions at housing time can be a real challenge. Ventilation in sheds is critical to ensuring good levels of performance and animal health in any shed. Improving air inlets and outlets is vital to ensuring good ventilation in sheds. The limiting factor in most sheds is the ridge on the roof. Correctly designed, this acts like a chimney and, and the stack effect causes good airflow throughout the shed. So don't be scared to open things up and to make some changes in a shed. Climate change is also bringing new and increased disease challenges to farms. From liver fluke through to blue tongue, these challenges are different on every farm. Having regular discussions with your vet and updating a proactive health plan has never been more important. The issue of climate change isn't going to go away. We've already seen, seen some significant changes and there's no doubt there's some challenges on the horizon. But there's a lot of good tools and information out there that's available to help you adapt your business and become more resilient. Speaking to a consultant is one option, but even having a conversation with a farmer or someone who's made changes to their own system can have a significant impact on yours. The Farming for a Better Climate website and the Farm Advisory Service website both have some really good information and tools to help you adapt to climate change. And don't be scared to get in touch through the Farm Advisory Service helpline. If we rise to the individual challenges, the industry will be able to embrace the opportunities and adapt to climate change.